Our child does look different and he was born that way and we never knew he was going to be able to do all the things he can do and he amazes us every day. Victor is like every other three-year-old. He loves to play with his friends, have fun. And it's interesting to watch the other kids interact with him because I don't think any, any of them notice anything different. Uh, so they just, he's just another kid in the class. Is that mommy? Yeah, what do you say? I mean, he's very social. He loves his classmates. He loves the kids. They love him, you know. And he has learned to overcome adversity and no other than anybody I've ever met in my life. I mean, the kid doesn't let anything stop him. Three-year-old Victor Padilla was born with an incredibly rare condition known as Clove's syndrome. I had a lot of pregnancy complications that kind of indicated to me that he was going to have some neurologic issues. Clothes is an overgrowth illness that causes complex vascular anomalies, often leading to the formation of tumours on the body. It's 200 people worldwide, so it was like a 1 in 50 million um, chance of developing this. When he was first diagnosed, there was less than 150 people a couple of years ago, so I firmly believe that there's a lot of people that go undiagnosed. Mommy! Yeah. Mommy! There are so many complications that go along with his syndrome, and for the most part, we've kept him out of the hospital. Um, he does have things come up and surprise us all the time. I, it's terrifying holding your kid when they're gasping to breathe, and they just can't get that air in and out. <laughs> we we um, were hopeful for his future, but you know, they don't know. You know, it, it hurts so bad every time we see a child die with his syndrome. You know, we always wonder if it's gonna be us next. So we are trying to raise awareness for a syndrome and the more we can find out, the more and the more we know, the more we can do to um, keep him living as long as we can. So we try to still keep it positive um, with all of his doctor's appointments. Because of the nature of his disorder, Victor regularly visits Dr. Kwon a pediatric neurologist who's been monitoring his progress since he was born. So some of the risks that we see with Clove syndrome um, have to do with the overgrowth. So there is always a risk of tumor developing. So Victor has already had some of the complications that we see with Clove syndrome. Those include epilepsy from the fact that his brain is formed differently on the right side. He also has some facial asymmetries, but surprisingly, Victor has done incredibly well. He remains an incredibly active and very bright boy. I think that um, it's hard to tell just from looking at the picture of his brain what he can and can't do. That's why it's been great to see him and see all the things that he's doing, which are very typical and very reassuring. This is a pretty rare, um, un unusual syndrome. Is, is there a cure for Clove syndrome? No, there's not a cure for Clove syndrome. Um, it's a disease that's managed. Good job. Now what color are you going to do? He doesn't let anything stop him. He's so motivated for everything that he has no fear. He does what he wants and he keeps trying till he accomplishes his goal. Um, he's proven so many statistics wrong. He's proven all the research that I've done wrong. You know, he's, he's walking and talking and learning and running and playing and he's very social. He's a little slow on things, but for what he has going against him, he's doing phenomenal. He's a miracle kid. Yeah. So. He is our little miracle.